Well, good morning, everybody. This is Capri in Final Fantasy XIV, Heaven's Warden. In today's video, this is a thank you for 500 subscribers, and in this video, we will talk about how my channel got to this point and what I have learned so far. That way, anyone who is interested in growing their channel might be able to take the ideas, learn from my mistakes, and get inspiration. As always, all of the details will be listed in the description below so you can copy and paste them for your own use. No gaming channel will be complete without their game, so while we won't talk directly about Final Fantasy XIV, that is the game that is playing in the background. And no channel will be complete without its viewers, subscribers, commenters, and likers. So I would like to thank everyone who has been with me up until this point. So now let's take a look at how I grew my channel up to 500 subscribers and talk about what I did right and wrong and tips to help you grow your channel. My first tip is to know and use your passion in your videos. Now I know this sounds as cheesy as a 1980s cheese flick of follow your heart, but it really is true here on YouTube. I started out with one silly little passion and that was gathering materials in this game. This passion will get you noticed. Now, I did have an advantage at this point, which was I was one of the original people posting videos about this game. My videos had two things that were unique about them. First being that they were not about shards. People who play Final Fantasy XIV, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the second thing that made them unique was I actually showed the results and what I sold. Following your passion and finding a way to make them unique is the key to getting noticed. Being noticed is the first step to getting subscribers. Now let's talk about how you lose subscribers and that is with your attitude. You need to keep your attitude consistent throughout all of your videos and in your comments. People like to know what to expect and the only surprises should be in your video and not in your attitude. This is one of the mistakes that I have made and it has really wrecked me. Again, check the link in the description to see for yourself the mistake I am talking about. I did a good job of carrying my excitement into the video, however, my mistake was in the comments. I allowed a rough time in real life to cause me to troll my own video, and I noticed a big drop in comments overall after that video. Not long after that, I was also losing subscribers. The worst thing about it, though, was that it really wrecked my mentality. The pains of guilt and regret still get me to this day, and it has been so bad that I have thought about pulling that video off of YouTube. However, since I do like to be honest, I decided to leave it up to allow my viewers to know that I am a real human being just like them. Tip number three is that you need to put out quality content. At this, I do not reign supreme. My technical skills are non-existent, and I have not put more than 30 bucks into my channel. I basically bought fraps and a new headset, which is why I sound different today. There is actually foam on my mic now, which is something we haven't had in a few years. And after that, it was with Windows Movie Maker. But the quality of what I have to say is what is bringing people to my videos. Having the laid back yet still excited about my passion mixed with the solid tips and exact items I sold and the results is where I, the quality of my content has been implemented. If you're willing to put a little bit of extra money, time, and effort, your channel can grow faster than mine did. Quality content is where I gained most of my subscribers. About a year and a half ago, I put out basically a one-hit wonder. Should you want to see it, there will be a link in the description below. While it, did, it was not in high definition and I had no control over my voice, it was different, unexpected, in-depth, and stayed true to what I was passionate about. This single video was the key to my channel's success, and even when I took a break away from the game and YouTube for about three months, it continued to bring in the views and subscribers. My next tip, which is revolved around my one-hit wonder, this tip is to watch your analytics. I decided to experiment a little bit and I made two videos that were themed and formatted the same way as my top videos to see what it would do to my analytics. It worked out fairly well considering that the content within those videos are way outdated. The first week each of them came out, they surpassed the views and average view duration. Though after that, my analytics returned to the original One Hit Wonder video and if they were based on the current content, the shift probably would not have happened. My last note about analytics, it's a good idea to base your video length on your average view duration. While I didn't originally do this on purpose, it was something that I started no noticing a few months ago. And then for yet another tip based on current content. This is something I cannot do quite yet, but this tip should help you out a lot on your channel. If you are doing a channel that is based on anything that gets updated such as trends and products, be sure that you include videos about things that are happening right now. For me, with a ton of little ones running around, this is going to be very difficult for me and it's going to be a few months before I can catch up, though I do have the full intention to do so when I can. Other tips that, you know, might sound weird but they might help you, 
you know, keep your mic at a consistent distance away from your mouth. In this video, I'm sure you noticed when I shifted my mic. There are times when I was quiet and times when I was a little louder. You can also grow your channel on budget supplies. You just need that winning combination of personality, content, and passion. And really, that's the end of my channel story of how I obtained 500 subscribers. And I'll end this speech with one last tip. The most important part of your channel is your subscribers. And for all of my subscribers, I would like to say a special thank you. I've never imagined that my channel would grow as big as it is. And from my heart to yours, happy YouTubing.